a brilliant gig or if you have a really awful gig, still just go home. I mean, it's like, it's not like, I used to see it as a kind of precipice, like, that. Like oh my God, I, can't, I couldn't see beyond the gig. I just thought, oh, that's all there is. And it's to put so much pressure on it, Frank, that, I, you know, like, you know, sent me mad. I think that's a lot of the, like, cause I, I think, right, when I st started to drink a lot was because I was, like, nervous before auditions and going to castings and that when I was, like, sort of 16, 17. So, like... You know, there's always had to be, there's always been, there seems, it seems to be intrinsic to me and my destiny to spend time in toilet cubicles, not for their primary function. Right. First as a, uh, an, a lonely onanist, then uh, as a drug addict, then, you know, for, for liaisons of, of the flesh. And now, even now, when striving for cleanliness, I find myself in them cubicles, inhaling deeper than one would like to try and breathe myself into some clear-headed state, zen-like state, so that I'm focused. So the idea is that you, you sort of empty yourself of, of thought, almost. Yeah, and faeces. Yeah, at the like, same time. The peculiar catharsis of that. I'm usually like, incredibly adrenalised and sort of like, ooh, like sort of nervous still, but now have a better understanding that, that is, that's preparatory, that I'm just like, I'm getting ready for it. And, it, and I think the ritualisation of it, and I suppose the function of all ritual, is to move one from a state of the, the individual into a sort of a, a, con a connected place of, you know, your con consciousness of connection, a point of, like, of being at one, like at one with higher things, you know, so that's, yeah, sort of like, yeah, shed all of that stuff so that like, I feel open and ready and that I can stand before people and think, well, you know, say it you like, I'm all right, I'm, you know, I'm not hiding nothing. I think that explanation, though, does, uh, in many ways, identifies Russell Brand the comic from other comics who always just refer to that process as the comedy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, there's a, yeah. I didn't know there was an aphorism. I've got to have a comedy shit. You can do a comedy shit. <laughs> I'm a one with God. <laughs> Behold, I have given a stool and I hold it up to sacrifice, like Tiresias <laughs> with the butchard <laughs> bones of a bird to the oracle. You've just done a poo. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's what makes me special.